my name is Jackie and this is my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I am doing a tag video and I have been looking forward to doing this. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll know every time that I upload a video. Now the name of the tag is called, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, it is called the Eyeshadow Palettes Wishlist Tag. And this tag was created by my fellow YouTuber, Lori, from It's Lori's Life. I watched her video, and in her video, she tagged Lynette. And so I watched Lynette's video, and in Lynette's video, she tagged me. So I am super excited to do this video tag, and it should be interesting. <laughs> So if you're interested in seeing my eyeshadow palette wish list, then you'll have to keep watching. Okay, so here are the rules for the tag. We have to list five palettes and we have to answer three questions about each palette. Now the questions are, why do you want the palette? The next question is, why didn't you buy the palette? And the last question is, if you could, would you buy the palette today? I'm excited. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I do have my laptop here so I can pull up the palettes and talk to you about them. So I'm ready to just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first palette on my list, and I will be looking at my computer so I can actually see the palette as I talk to you about it. The first palette on my list is a palette by Beauty Bay, and it's called, what is this called? the Book of Magic palette. And it seemed like this palette was only out for a little while before it was just gone. I know, I think they did a restock, but when I finally made up my mind that I wanted to pick it up, because I had seen several people use the palette on their channel, and when I finally made up my mind that I wanted to pick it up, the palette was no more. So. Um, I like the palette because it's a kind of a different color story for me. You know, I have my typical shades that I like to use, and I stick to those shades quite often. But this one had the blues in it. Looks like it had some silvery blues, a little bit of lilac colors, some of your warm tones, just something a little different than what I typically am drawn to for my eyeshadow palette purchases. So... Like I said, I kept seeing everybody use it and I just, you know, thought it was a nice palette to have and it is super inexpensive. So that was another reason. So that's why I wanted the palette. I didn't pick my, I didn't pick the palette up for no particular reason. It was just, I was dragging my feet. I just dragged my feet and dragged my feet. And when I finally decided that I wanted to pick it up, it was gone. It, I get, it was limited edition and it was gone. So I never got the chance to pick it up. Now, if the palette were available today, I would say yes. But let me just say, Beauty Bay now has another palette, just kind of like the Book, of the Book of Magic palette, but the shades are different. And it is gorgeous. I cannot tell you how many times I have had that palette in my cart, not checked out. In my cart, not checked out. And I don't know why. I just keep dragging my feet again. So I would say that if this palette were available today, along with the Wilderness palette that's available now that I still have not checked out, I would say I would purchase both of those palettes today. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now the next palette that I have on my wish list is by Glamlight, and it is the Cake palette. I have wanted this palette for so long. More recently, I've seen Alexandria West use it. I've seen Gigi Loves Beauty. I've seen so many people use this palette. I just think it's beautiful. And these shades are the shades that I love. So, why do you want the palette? These are just the shades that I like. I like the pinks. I like the berry tones, the purples, and these glitter shades in here just look so gorgeous. I just think this palette has the color story that I am typically drawn to. 
why didn't I pick up this palette? Because I've been fooled more than once by looking at a palette, thinking that it looks so pigmented, the shades look, look just saturated with color. And when you get the palette, it's a kind of dusty, it, it looks nothing like the photo. And because I have never tried anything from Glam Light, I wasn't sure that the pictures would translate to what the palette actually looked like. So I just thought, gosh, it just, I don't know. I don't think that the shades are going to be just, you know, how it looks in the picture. And so that's what kept me from picking it up. So I've seen different people use it. You know, people will hold it up. And I say, well, it looks like the picture. It looks like it has a lot of pigment to it. Well, I just wasn't sure. So um, when Gigi and Lynette had their live, Gigi used it. And I had made a comment to her that I wanted that palette, but I just didn't think it was uh, pigmented. And she was like, honey, you see it on my eyes. <laughs> and they look very pigmented. So that's the reason I didn't pick it up. I just didn't think that the uh, shades displayed were true to color. So if I could, would I buy it today? absolutely i think i am going to purchase it because i've just seen so many people that i watch with this palette and i you know they say it is true to form so i think that i would pick it up today the next one that i want i made notes on this one this palette is by lois cosmetics and it's called meet me in the underworld i don't like the title Absolutely, meet me in the underworld. Mm -mm, I don't like that. But why do I want the palette? Because I think this color story is a little different. Kind of still has the shades that I'm drawn to. But it has that grunge look to it as well. And I just, I just feel like that I could really sink my teeth into this palette. I feel like there are so many different color options or makeup looks that I can do with this. And it just looks so pretty. Looks like it has so many mattes in there. And it just looks like it's so pigmented. I think I saw this on Amy Loves Makeup. I think I saw it on her channel. Or, you know, she did her makeup indie, what is it, the indie releases. And she was talking about this palette. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I want that. Okay, so I told you why I want it. Why didn't I buy the palette? Because I am not willing to pay $17 for shipping. Now this uh, Los Cosmetics is a uh, UK brand. So the palette is like $39.91, $40. You know, I can get on with that. That's, you know, I, I'm okay with that. But the shipping is $17.70. Mm -mm. we're not doing that <laughs> we are not doing that when I because when I used the converter I was like are you kidding me because it said 1280 but until you convert it I was like no ma'am I'm not paying 70 I'm already paying $40 for the palette I'm not paying almost another $20 for shipping so that's why I did not get this palette if if in it's sold out so many times that I set up the alert each time to let me know when it was back in stock. So every time it was back in stock, I said, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Until I actually went ahead and broke down how much everything was. So this palette is still available as of when I'm filming this video, it's still available, I just looked at it, but I'm just not willing to pay that kind of money for shipping. So it's still available, but I'm still not getting it. It's so pretty. <laughs> It's so pretty. I really want this palette. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody in the U.S. will have it and sell it because I do want it. But I'm just not going to pay that price for shipping. So moving on. So the next palette that I want to talk about is one that Lynette and I have in common. And it is by Give Me Glow. And when she said this in her video, I was like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the palette that I want. Now, why don't why do I want the palette? Because first of all, I have never tried anything by Gimme Glow. Nothing. And I follow them on Instagram. And when you see the swatches 
of the palettes, it just makes your jaw drop. The, the shadows are so metallic and I've never had metallic shades like Gimme Glow. They're, and everybody speaks so highly until the controversy where they didn't have, you know, what Tina wanted to do swatches and they didn't really want to pay her to do the swatches and she didn't have like swatches for women of color, all that. So as Lynette says, they've been on the timeout. <laughs> so I really do want this palette. I just want to see the metallics in action. I really do. And I think she has a highlighter that I wanted to, when I saw that swatch, I was like, oh my gosh. So that's why I want the palette. I'm not getting it right now because like I said, she's a little bit on, on a timeout. Lynette, let me know when she's done with her timeout. <laughs> but she's on to her timeout right now. Um, so if I could, would I still buy it? And it is still available because I checked today. And yes, I would still buy it. But Lynette's going to let me know when it's safe to purchase. So my last palette is by, I don't, by Menagerie Cosmetics. And this is my typical color story again. Typical color story. It has the purples, the, you know, dusty rose shade, the light, just everything that I love in a palette everything that I love. Now, I will say that I almost put the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in here, but I was just like, how many purple and pink palettes are you going to put in there? So I left that one out. But the Menagerie one, when I saw this one, literally again, I was just like, oh, that is so pretty. And it is. It is just gorgeous. I don't know. I think I tried to get this palette, but every time I try, well, first of all, the reason that I want this palette is, you know, it's just the colors that I absolutely love. And again, never tried anything by this brand before. And I, you know, when you haven't tried something by a particular brand, the curiosity is there. You do want to try it and see how the formula is and if you really like it. But also because, you know, like I said, the color story, I just love these shades. So that's why I do want the palette. Why didn't I buy the palette? It's every time I tried to get it, it was sold out. So I, I don't even think it was a price issue. I don't even remember how much it cost. All I know is I saw it and I wanted it. But I kept missing out on this palette. So this palette, to my knowledge, is no longer available. So that's why I would get it if it were still available. But that's what happens, you guys. I drag my feet. I put stuff in the cart. I take it back out of the cart. I have carts all over the place with stuff in it, but I don't commit. I just don't commit. And so that has caused me to miss out on the Flight Club palette. Yeah, the Flight Club palette. So this is this one and the Book of Magic, they just totally got away from me. So maybe, like I said, somebody somewhere is always selling something. So maybe somebody's going to sell it and I'll be able to pick it up, but I missed out on this one, but it is just such a beautiful palette and I wouldn't mind having it at all. So those are the five palettes, you guys, that I missed out on or they're on a timeout or the shipping is just ridiculous. So I am happy to bring you my five palettes, Lori, Thank you for creating this tag. It's a good one, girl. I love it. Lynette, thank you so much for tagging me. And I think that I want to tag a few of my little friends as well to do this. So let's see. First up, I would love to tag Nona. Nona, I would love to see which palettes you missed out on because Nona... She don't let the grass grow under her feet, honey. She sees it and she gets it. So I would be very interested in seeing which palettes she missed out on. And I'm going to tag also Alexandria West and see what palettes she wished she had gotten. So that's it for today's video, you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and ringing the notification bell. 
It just lets you know each and every time that I upload a video and share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you're always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.